Hey everybody, welcome to the as of yet unnamed spoiler free podcast. Uh, I think we should just call it spoiler cast or spoiler cast or something. I'm positive. You know, there, there are a lot of uh, car enthusiasts out there who are going to be really mad about that. <laughs> this isn't about spoilers on my car at all. <laughs> yeah, but we we both felt like uh, I guess really lazy today. God, you have no idea. And um, we thought it was kind of a good time to like do this since we. Kind of, we were thinking about doing this, like yeah, we're doing it anyway. So we may yeah. as well do it around E3. Yeah, and we have a lot to talk about, I guess. Um, where do we start? Yeah, where should we expo- before we do, do we any start? of this? <laughs> because I know that we're gonna gonna end up referencing this eventually. Should we talk about the crate of shame? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be actually referencing on the actual show as well. Mm. But uh, we threw a little get together, and we decided since it's a summer thing, we'd uh, get a bunch of those like. Uh, these little ice pops, you know, ice pops, and like pops, the like basically, the yeah. high, like they're the water. You freeze them, and they turn into popsicles. And otter pops. We totally thought we could just put them in the crate with some ice, and they would freeze. And that was not the case. Oh, was it? it thought the entire thing they were just, you know, flavored water. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and now I have half a freezer full of these popsicles, and they're like multiplying. I can't even make a dent in them. I've been eating them daily. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a thing. That's the creative shame that's happened. Yeah, that we refer that we shall reference on the show. We'll probably oh. end up telling the story again, but yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, E three. Yeah, how about that big self masturbatory <laughs> thing that the games industry throws every fucking year? Yeah. Um. I will say one thing for it, though. Mm-hmm. The past couple of years, and I feel this way about all the companies, the past couple of years, they've been, like, not... I don't think they've been really, like, showing a lot of yeah. new, cool stuff, but this year, I think everyone brought some Mostly cool... Mostly their A-game, yeah. Yeah, most of their A-game. You guys want to talk about who you, who won A3? All of us did. Oh, isn't that nice? Jeff, I okay. wish you were on video right now so I could punch you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, no, but, yeah, I know you didn't watch the uh, conferences. I was at work because I have a job. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually off that day. Oh, aren't you lucky? Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> so I got to watch uh, most of the conferences. Um, but, yeah, Microsoft was, was okay. The only thing I have to say, though, they, like, like harped on the word exclusive onto Every game they put on there, like... Well, it was true. They had, like, Sunset Overdrive and the new Halo and... Well, even that games stuff. that weren't exclusive, they're like, Oh, yeah, I get exclusive beta testing. Or try the exclusive DLC only for Xbox One. Yeah. <laughs> buy our system. Please, for the love of God, <laughs> buy our overpriced piece of shit system. Yeah, and, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I am not a big fan <laughs> of Xbox One. I, uh... But, yeah, that's the only, like, complaint I really had about Xbox One. They didn't really, mm. like talk that much about, like, you know, anything system-wise, or... Yeah, well, if they said anything about the system, it would be, <laughs> oh, he's so sad that he can't yeah. act it. At least they didn't say anything that was, like, noteworthy, you know? Mm-hmm. And Sony, I, I didn't really, like... I missed, like, half that conference, mm-hmm. but the part I did catch was, like, Far Cry 4, and yeah. they showed No Man's Sky, which was pretty awesome. Yeah, you get hype. Yeah, they, they talked about the PlayStation TV, which I'm Still not quite sure. It's basically you're gonna. From what I understand of this, and I might be confusing this with PlayStation Now. Yeah, Um, it's it's all like the. It's all the same same goddamn thing thing. right now. But yeah, it's all the same in my head right now. Yeah. Um, From what I understand, it's basically going to be a service that lets you stream games. Like, okay. I think again, I could be mistaking that for the PlayStation Now service. Because the way I looked at it. The way it seemed to me, it was uh-huh. like it was going to be like a Roku or a like yeah. Apple TV or one of those, mm-hmm. one of those things that just hooks directly into your TV and you kind of like mm-hmm. pay to rent yeah. games and I, I, yeah. I really don't know, but mm-hmm. they released yeah, okay, a price so that is PlayStation now. Yeah, but I mean they released a price price for it. And it's going to be like a hundred dollars. Yeah, which seems in line with the other like kind of Apple TV Roku things that plugs in your TV anyway, mm-hmm. and. I guess they're bringing a. I don't know. I guess it's coming out soon. <laughs> so 
So sometime by the end of the year, I think they said maybe yeah, I probably. could be wrong about that. <laughs> um, I, I was just like, hey, that's cool. I might, I might, I might get that if I have money at that point to <laughs> spend on if that. If I have a a fuck to give, yeah, yeah. But like, I I, I don't know. Like, is PlayStation now going to be with that or? I mean, if that I is, I think okay. So because if that's the a, case, that'd be like a really cool thing to integrate into the TV. I don't remember yeah. if they said that or not. <laughs> what I think, but, it, what I understand, if I understand this correctly, and I probably don't, and there's going to be a flood of comments being like, "Damn, what do you know," uh, but that's because I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, for what I have this picked out as in my head is that if you have a PS4, you'll be able to use PlayStation Now. Mm-hmm. If you have a PlayStation TV. You can get PlayStation Now on that. Okay, so it's like Netflix, right? They also introduced, uh, said that they're uh, bringing the uh, TV series powers based on the comic book uh, yeah, yeah. to PlayStation Now exclusively, or something like that. <laughs> so it's like, okay, that's cool. I okay, guess. sure, whatever. Yeah, um, <laughs> dude, Brian Michael Bendis came on <laughs> on stage, and I'm like. Oh wow, he's cosplaying as the kingpin. Yeah, someone, someone also like I know was like, "Hey, look, the penguin just showed up on stage. Where's Batman?" <laughs> there's also I'm sorry, this, bro. There's this also apparently weird technical blip where, like, in the middle of like one of the guys talking, like, so someone just let Hulk smash. <laughs> Playing is like, "That's right, Hulk smash." I was like, "Ah, oh, okay, oh, just God. move along, move along." Get out of here, <laughs> Bendis. Um, yeah, yeah of course. wow. I was just amazed at like looking back on some of the footage from it. I was like, "Wow, their sound engineering needs whoever whoever was their sound engineer for that day needs to fuck <laughs> off and get fired." Yeah, yeah, definitely. They probably he, he ate a thousand days. Yeah, right? definitely. I was like saying that, like, uh-huh. I remember uh, last year at the PlayStation event where uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag just like mm-hmm. upped and failed, and Watch Dogs almost did the same exact thing. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, Ubisoft, someone's gonna find you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, we have the Nintendo quote unquote digital event, <laughs> which, I mean, they, they had this interesting. Really weird, like thing going on. Uh, they just, they did they did like kind of the robot chicken guys do like sketches, which mm. I thought were kind of funny. Well, they, they were amusing. I yeah, thought, I, I did catch those afterwards. Yeah. And I was like, so we're gonna and have they, the last donut. <laughs> but the the thing when they uh, introduced the Mies with the with the whole uh, Mies, I should say, we introduced the Mies to Smash Brothers. They had the yeah. whole like thing where it's just Reggie and Iwata just battling each other. And I saw this. I was like, what the. F- Fuck is going on here, so, guys? So that's why Iwata wasn't in, wasn't at E3. He wasn't sick. The Reggie Reggie gave him a heart attack. Reggie just fucked him up. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk about more about Smash Brothers later. Uh, I would like to maintain that Reggie fils me still looks like a giant like walking hamburger to me. <laughs> if but, I ever meet him in person, he's just going to be like, "Oh, hi, I'm Reggie." Fees of me. <laughs> What's happening? I would just be there with a big old I'm knife and fork. I'm extremely happy. <laughs> no. Yeah, I was just going to be there with a big old knife and fork. And then there's <laughs> going to be nothing left but a nice suit and a pair of really cool shoes. Yeah. And I'd just be like, like oh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> the, non, the really non, like, really game thing we can talk about, though, for Nintendo, uh-huh. are the, their, like, amiibo thing, which is the oh, figurine yeah. thing. Yeah! Which, which really... <laughs> It's kind of funny to me that they're starting that, you know, because... Skylanders, yeah, Disney Infinity. Did you, but did you know, like, this is this is why it's funny, though. Uh, the guys who did Skylanders uh-huh. actually approached Nintendo to give them exclusive rides to the, you know... The to that. And, then, yeah. and they're like, like nah, nah that's, sure. Uh, no, nah, that's okay. You guys can do your own thing with that. And now they're trying to, like, you know, play catch-up. I think that's just hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo does not make good decisions like, but on, a, they, on, they on occasion. Looking, yeah. It's interesting, I think, especially for mm-hmm. Smash Brothers. For those of you who don't know, it's like, uh, they're the, the Skylander figures. And they are going to be a lot of them, and apparently they can be used for multiple games, apparently. But right now, the only one that's like, going to be used works for them is, is going to be Smash, Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers, yeah. yeah. And the, uh, I guess the idea is you can put this, the, like, the figurine on the NFC reader on the gamepad, and you can, like... The, the figurines character will appear in the game and just like Skylanders. Yeah, it'll it'll work up stats on its own and be like 
mm-hmm. I don't know, Pokemon for Nintendo characters, I guess? Sure, why not? <laughs> what the hell? I'm not, really, sure. I'm not even really sure if you're even able to control them while they're in the game or not, but... <laughs> Dude, that would just be the hilarious, the most hilarious thing. Like, sure, it gains stats on its own. Cool, can I control them? No. Well, I mean... It, Fuck. Well, well, I mean, uh, they were saying that, like, you can either use them directly or call them to your side and, like, have them help you out, which I was like, I'm not really sure how they're going to differentiate between the two. Call Leopardon. I but, don't know. <laughs> yeah, this, this I mean, is This has the potential to be really cool. Yeah. And the potential to be a giant train wreck. I mean, I honestly... I haven't collected figures since, you know, Mage Knights. <laughs> Whether it was just the Coast Mage Knights and the whole, like, <laughs> Shadowrun thing. And that was, like, back in high school where yeah. I could actually, you know, blow money and not give a shit about it. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't collected figures since Warhammer? last year. No. <laughs> no, I still. Oh, man. I still blow lots of money on Warhammer. Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> I mean, I I'm probably. I'm probably on... I'll probably get at yeah. least one just to, you know, test it out, but I'm not going to, like. You know what I am going to get though? Disney Infinity. <laughs> Disney Marvel. Marvel Infinity. Marvel, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Starter set comes with Iron Man, Thor, and Black Widow. Woo. I'm get me some Spider Man. <laughs> dude, I'm gonna break my fucking bank getting these goddamn characters. I just know it. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that, buddy. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't really say much about the like the Nintendo Digital Bennett, like. Mm-hmm. Just the actual, like, event, the, like, the 40-minute thing. That's what I don't understand. Like, their, their actual event, their press, quote-unquote, like, vi- video press conference yeah. was 40 minutes long. Yep. But then, like, the rest of the day continued with, the, like, their Treehouse Live thing, mm. which showed in-depth games and, like, with producers and stuff. <laughs> and so They're like, by the way, if you don't want to listen to these other motherfuckers talk about shit, um, listen to me. <laughs> How about that fucking robot game? Yeah, this uh, the Shigeru Miyamoto robot game. Yeah, Sh- Shigeru Miyamoto presents robots. <laughs> like that could be really cool, but you know, it's obviously just starting development. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who didn't see it, uh, Miyamoto's doing a giant robot game, but it's I guess he's calling it more of a sumo game with giant robots. Yeah, which is accurate because that's what you yeah. do. you try to knock the other robot down. And it also has kind of like a custom robo. Thing to it where you can customize the robot mm-hmm. to your liking. You can make it tall and the feet big, I guess. And it Which is seems... necessary if you know anything about giant robot physics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it all seems kind of weird, but like, I'm sure it's going to be kind of cool once the actual main game comes. Oh out. yeah, I'm positive that that'll be. It'll base like Jeff. We should play once that game comes out. We should play Robot Alchemic Drive because it's basically the same <laughs> idea. We should just play that. At, uh, and anyway, because we have it like right there. You know, oh yeah, I know. In our stack of games, we need to play, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying we're, we'll keep, we're getting to it. Now, we it, swear. now it's finally relevant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it is relevant. I mean, it's so. Re- you mean it we're was... finally getting to it? That was my game. That I brought. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll yeah. get to it eventually. We still have like other like shit to edit and get through too. But yeah, eventually we'll get through it <laughs> later, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh. Let's dive into. Let's go. We have we have a list here. It's kind of yeah. We kind of had things organized. Yeah. <laughs> by, okay. By game, so, so like advanced warfare. Yeah. You it were was, not stoked. Yeah. You it was it was it was revealed it. during the Microsoft press conference. It, I and if you had read the Game Informer that had come out the month prior, you'd know exactly everything about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I watched the Kevin Spacey trailer too, but like he just doesn't fall with power. But but this is like the first time we actually You're see to like cards fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we actually like saw a gameplay video of this, mm-hmm. and I I was just looking at this and thinking, I'm kind of seeing like things from like all these other you know like sci-fi shooting games like the heads yeah. up display on the rifle was like very Halo. Halo yeah, the, the fact that you can fucking you basically have super strength in this. Yeah, and you have very like Titanfall. Yeah, and like the max as well, and. I mean, yeah. I, I feel like Call of Duty is trying to come into a genre very, very late. two generations late yeah. to the game. And, and it, it's new for them. Right. But, I mean, I, I'm sure, like, even, like, the grenades you were talking, like, how the cool grenade things were. Yeah, which, they're based on, okay, so. Which, which are pretty cool, like, me, the whole, like, homing grenade. Yeah, thing. homing grenade's nice. Yeah, that also kind of. Well, you absolutely I, positively have to kill that like, motherfucker. I mean, yeah, it also kind of felt though like 
had tinges of a sticky grenade from Halo as well. Well, yeah, but I mean, yeah. that sort of grenade has been in games since Halo. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say this. The, uh, the whole, hey, let's pop up on your heads-up display where all the enemies are because you threw a sonar grenade. Yeah, basically. yeah. Like, that is actually vaguely based on real-world technology. Yeah, that, that's something it, I wasn't stoked about as well, though, too. Yeah, oh, oh it makes the game too easy if you know where the enemies are. It's a good tactical advantage. I'm sorry, you didn't well, want yeah, to... Well, true, yeah, true, it's a good tactical right. advantage, but Would at you the same like time, like... challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but it seemed like it didn't matter where you threw the grenade, like, every enemy that was going to like, well, I mean, it's in the, be in the humongous in the fucking area is going to be shown. And there's a... Li- li- like, a, there's a limited vicinity. And you could just, like, there. go and, like, shoot and hope you, like... You know, your aim is true. Yeah. Which, <laughs> considering how much yeah. aim assist there is in those games, and shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it's just like, though, like, with those types of games, like, you know, finding the enemy, like, is yeah. part of the strategy to it. Yeah, except well, the problem but... is with most of those games is that the enemies blur into the fucking background mm-hmm. so much because, you know, they have camo on and that's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, and another thing about the, the, the gameplay that was shown, mm-hmm. which it's not going to be, it's not going to matter in the grand scheme of things because you know multiplayer is going to be the focus. Mm-hmm. But it seemed like your character didn't do a lot of shit. Like, he, he, like, he opened mm-hmm. the door up, you know, to the escape pod. I guess he did that. Shot some like, bros and then got his buddy blown up. Yeah, and even going up to talking to people, you didn't even do that. It was like your teammate, your yeah, captain. Yeah, there's... Like, now, if my understanding <laughs> of reading the Game Informer article is correct... Which it probably is. Mm. Um, there is going to be more to it than just that. Like you are well, actually yeah, going to have a character, yeah. like character development, a character arc. It's just that nobody gives a flying shit about that when they show it at E three. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I play Call of Duty for the story. <laughs> well, yeah, that's because like the game, like the multiplayer has always been the focus of Call of Duty. So like yeah. when you show like the first person like gameplay, just like okay. That guy was not playing that game, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> that was clearly all... That was clearly bullshit. I really hope they don't have a, a fucking Gearbox incident like that. <laughs> That's, that seems to be the flavor of the month, though, when you're doing an FPS like gameplay, is to show oh, yeah. the nice... To show the... I, you guys can't even see what I'm doing right yeah, now, but I'm just like... Check out our skybox! Ch- ch- check out the nice like view and like how you can move the camera. Look at these drones swarming... Look Why would these? you ever have drones swarm like that? It's beyond yeah. me, but... Because <laughs> bugs. Yeah. <laughs> because it makes them menacing, I guess. But yeah. yeah. Point being, this game... It's not that we don't think this game is going to be good. Like, is it'll be good. It'll get its... Oh, I'm sure they'll be, like... Sell, like, you know, a lot of copies and all that yeah. jazz. It'll sell really well, but... Yeah. And there are going to be endless arguments about... And I'm sure as well. Like, yeah. Oh, which one? Was like I'm better? starting. I'm, I'm sure right now. Mm-hmm. What are you saying? He's not gonna <laughs> steal it from the original ideas. I was like, yeah, no, I know. I'm just exaggerating yeah, it's all based a little on, bit, like, guys. Real life DARPA tech. It is, but oh yeah. But nobody gives a fuck because <laughs> Halo did it first. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, Halo announced. Uh, was it the Master Chief Collection or oh, something? Oh yeah. yeah. Which. I, I just want to Microsoft point out with press Jeff. conference. Yeah, <laughs> I watched this. Mm-hmm. This was the biggest applaud mm-hmm. given in the entire conference. The re-release of games, not any of the new games, but not the Sunset re-release. Overdrive. That's Sunset Overdrive, not uh, Advanced Warfare. But we're re-releasing hey, guess Halo. What, guys, we're re-releasing Halo and all the Halo multiplayer maps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like Jesus. I don't, I don't know whether this is awesome or sad. It's hilarious. As it is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, no, and they're doing it just because of uh, the Halo Five. I yeah, can't it's, remember it's, the it's Halo Five game. hype. Yeah, basically. I can't remember what the subtitle they gave to the new Halo, but I was yeah. like, okay. Like, I don't know. I I I finished the fight in three. I got done with that franchise and I left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Like Halo, sure. Halo Five. Are you really still playing these games? <laughs> really? We killed Cortana. Yeah. Did they? I don't. I, I, mean, don't, I wasn't actually sure on that. I mean, I didn't play four. I I played a bit of four. Yeah. I played the the multiplayer on four. I had no <laughs> feel of, like I had to play like the the campaign ever. Oh, I forgot. 
I'm just, we're going off track again, but like, I forgot ooh, something ooh. about Microsoft, the Microsoft press conference. Ooh, Project ooh. Spark. Oh yeah. Um, it seems like the cool like little big plan of Microsoft, but the end of that. <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> No. Did they kill I, a dog? What? I don't get it. Conker ran across the screen. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, and, yeah. and I was like, oh, they're bringing Conker back. No. It's a clever way to say, like, Conker's, like, you, like, you know, sawing through the, like, the game, this game trailer, and it's going to, like, be his own game trailer. Nope. Guess we'll just have to make our own game. No new game for Conker. He's going to be in Project Spark. A little bit of me died. <laughs> Most of you is already dead, so I don't I see mean, how that's a big change. You have this. You have like the literally Pixar of like game industry. Like okay, Rare was Pixar to Nintendo's Disney. Okay. Okay. Then, they, then, then Microsoft got hold of it, squandered it. Uh huh. And now it's like, kind of like you know, sorting the grave. Yeah, it's, kind of thing. It's, it's like oh why. And John Tron did a video of the whole, his reaction, and it's like a perfect reaction to like the whole Project Spark card thing. Was it just? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> it <Dark> was shade. <laughs> <laughs> pretty. It was pretty much that. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I knew it <laughs> <laughs> internally. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. so <clears throat> Project Let's... Spark is going to be interesting when it comes out. Yeah. If fanboys can get over the fact that Conker's in it and not in his own game anymore. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it'll be fun, but it's like, why put Conker's in his own game? Just make a Conker game, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, anyway. so Rainbow Six Siege. That's uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'll probably play it. Um, but I really I'm like just... the fact that they're, as, as it promises in the E3 trailer, hopefully yeah. it's still in the final game, but fully destructible environments. Yeah. That's interesting to me, because... There's some games that promised that before and not delivered. Red Faction. <laughs> yeah, and it worked really well for Red Faction Guerrilla. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I hope like, that it's something they played... did in the last Battlefield Battlefield Two. Yeah, like, but not nearly to that extent. Yeah, exactly. Like I was like, okay, that's pretty cool, but I'm excited for that. Um, you were you were saying something about it's not counterterrorism anymore. Yeah, like Rainbow Six. Okay, so when Rainbow Six first started out, it was based on Tom Clancy's novel, also mm-hmm. titled Rainbow Six, which is about a counterterrorism unit. Now, this was written in 1995, before terrorism was a thing in America, <laughs> and before we really understood what terrorism meant, uh, but now it's cops and robbers. Mm-hmm. Why does this have to be Rainbow Six? Why can't they just make a new IP out of this? Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, because Rainbow Six sells. Yeah, but. probably just name, uh, name brand. You yeah, know, but I mean, like, again, it's just for me, all the time, I see these sequels come out <laughs> and I don't understand why they're not their own IP. Because we have a dearth of new new IP out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you Especially know, that, this year, which we'll, we'll be getting to oh, Jesus, eventually. Yeah. So, like, like um, <laughs> oh god, like, why is Rainbow Six, or not Rainbow Six, uh, why is Battlefield Hardline its own game, other than the fact that it uses, you know, uh, Frostbite 3 engine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like and it, it's basically apparently. Well, there's, why can't you just put that apparently out? Apparently, there's thing. like a little kerfuffle with that because apparently, like in Hardline, you shoot cops, which I'm just like, well, okay. yeah, because one side is cops and the other side yeah. is robbers. Which apparently that's a you like, shoot cops in uh, payday too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, good, but like I heard that like kind of a controversy. I don't want to really call it a controversy, <laughs> but like. I was like, okay, but like you shot military guys in like Call of Duty and other Battlefield games. Oh, but games you see, those other people that you shoot in <laughs> Battlefield are brown. Well, I mean, no, no, I mean <laughs> oh, like I the wish, multiplayer I, stuff. I wish and there stuff. was a, uh, I wish there was a picture of your face right there. <laughs> we just dropped. <laughs> like, well, no, no, oh, like, what? like, you know, now, what I'm saying. Our, our people are getting shot too. It's like people are getting, yeah, people, people are dying. Yeah, please, it's like, please okay. shut down the system. <laughs> but going back to Rainbow Siege, like my friend made a good point. Like it's still like you're still going after hostage and then like still yeah. infiltrating mm-hmm. a base point or whatever. So yeah, I mean, like it's not a bad thing. It makes sense for what they're doing to try and make it a little mm-hmm. bit more poignant, and but they're the trying to get into a genre where 
it's not so overloaded because yeah. another Rainbow Six shooter, like against te, te bad guys, you know, te terrorists, are it's just like eh, you know, yeah. And apparently, worms. like I like the gameplay added gameplay of destructible environments. I think that adds something yeah. unique to it. Mm-hmm. And apparently, I heard it from one of the guys from IGN. They were talking about it in their time playing. Yeah. It's one hit kill. Like you just shoot in the head, well, you're, yeah. you're dead. You know. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that's like the same way if you got shot in like other vital like your body yeah. organs here yeah, you know, in, in the, the body area, area. <laughs> yeah. that you're going to go down because yeah. that's the way life works. All right. I think, uh, yeah, I think it's that interesting too because in the, uh, I showed you the video earlier, mm-hmm. like they were, the bad guys are just dropping like flies too. Yeah. You know? There's guys that, of course, it was amazing anybody got shot because the guys that are quote unquote quote playing that game. Let's face it, nobody was playing that fucking trailer. <laughs> uh, that was all scripted, but yeah, uh, Jesus Christ, not a one of them could hit for beans. Now I understand, <laughs> like as close quarters as that is, I have a saying that if you can't hit a man-sized target from fifteen feet, you should be used for target practice. Yeah. <laughs> no, another thing too, though, I was thinking about that. Yeah. It probably kind of. I'm, I'm going to guess. This is my theory: is that they were uh, purposely not shooting very well to show oh, the destructible oh, environments. Know were, you know, <laughs> like at the same time, like that could. I mean, I, I was like, no, just if you aimed a little bit, like 15 degrees downwards, you, yeah. you would have drilled that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I, I, I guess. Like that's what I you know, what really irks me about some shooters nowadays is that I can drill a guy 15 times in the head and he will go down. <laughs> cough, cough, Uncharted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, so um, all right, it's time for the controversy portion of the show. Controversy, uh-oh. Ass Creed. Okay, okay, so you're going to jump down to Ass Creed. I'm going to really jump down okay. to Assassin's Creed here because I don't know enough about No Man's Sky right now. Um, but oh. well, we'll t- we'll talk about that though because I do want to talk about that because I'm yeah. Excited but about I, I need to talk about this. I need to get this off my chest because otherwise <laughs> I'm going to lose it. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Ass Ass Creed rant coming up, guys. From CJ, let's hear it. Okay, From so the <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, why don't they have any women in this game? And Ubisoft fucked up, and they said something retarded about how it's harder to, like, it's somehow harder to design women or something. Mm-hmm. No, it's not that. They don't have any women in the video game because that's not the story they want to tell. That's it. True. They. I mean, it's not that they. It's like, oh, they just hate women. It's just like, no, you're 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 trying to change someone's design document for the sake of an agenda. Yeah. That's not good game game telling. That's not good storytelling. Like they did. Plus, they did have a, a character in the PS Vita one. Yeah, that was female. A, yeah, Aveline was great, and you know what? She shared most of her animations with, uh, with Connor. Like I, they I guess moved I, basically the same. I mean, that's. The, I guess that's the kind of the point, though. Like. They're talking about how they need to make their own uh, uh, animations for a, a woman character, but they didn't for... They did. You know, I mean, they've they, done it before. Well, I mean, no, I mean, they didn't change it at all for, you know... Yeah. They didn't change that much. Lane. So, like, what's, like, what... I guess the problem is, like, what's the problem with playing, you know, a female character, like... And well, I I'm just thinking just thing, opposite it, side just No, I understand that. I mean, the, the question for me then becomes, is it... Does it matter? Like, is it important to have... Like, I understand that we need inclusion in video games. That's not even the question. Mm-hmm. But if you're dictating that every AAA video game out there has to have this and this and this and this and this in- into it, you're just going to make it just as bland. You know, because people are complaining, oh, the shooters are, or games are so bland these days because there's no... Like, there's no women, there's no... You know, there's no... Afghan folks, there's no black people, there's Uh no this, there's no that. Like, well, yeah, okay, I get that, but at the same time, (laughs) if you have a checklist of things that you have to put in your game, it still is going to be brown, brown gray paste. (laughs) Well, uh, and and so you shouldn't you shouldn't feel pressured or forced into changing the entire way that your game is working. Just so you can conform to somebody's other, somebody else's agenda. Now it's not fair that they don't have any characters like that. They should probably think about that a little bit more. Just yeah, be aware I mean, of it, and it doesn't sound like they ever were. But at the yeah. same time, 
don't tell somebody that they have to compromise what they want to put in the game because it doesn't link up with what you want to put in the game. I mean, I think I think they sh- I think more female representation in games is a good thing, you know. Yeah, it should it should be something we're working towards or whatever, you know. Yeah, and but but at the well, same let, time, let me, let me just say though, yeah. Assassin's Creed yeah. having a, a series that's for most of the time being male oriented <laughs> white male oriented except yeah. for Connor except he's he's part, part white white and, part native, native, and, and apparently he, he's <laughs> part Native American to the point of you can still tell he's not that Native American mm-hmm. <laughs> which is uh, which is I, I'm like try not to face palm because mm-hmm. you guys can't see him but like Okay, so there's I don't a, think uh, I, don't, I don't think uh, gender is very high up on their priority list right now. Yeah. And I mean, let's let's <laughs> they be even had like a multiplayer game, so like they didn't have like mm-hmm. gender in that. They were all yeah, male no. characters, so it's like no. In the multiplayer, there were females. Oh, there were. Mm-hmm. Oh, there well, are a couple of different ones. Never mind. Okay then. But I, I, I mean, didn't play that game, so <laughs> again, you can't. And, and this is what this is a point that I'm going to keep coming back to. You can't demand that people change their design documents for a very expensive and hard to produce game just because it doesn't conform to your agenda. Mm. I mean, there's it's, a very. Is it not fair? Is it unfair to that if you created a game that featured a mostly female cast, people would be like, yeah, that's great. If you make a game that features a mostly male cast, people are like, eh, where are the women? Are either one of these two. These two designs, these two games, are you? Should you say one needs to change to fit more like the other? Right. Which I mean, like it's like saying which one of these is there? Now there are degrees of wrongness in this case, but uh, like you should put more women in this game if you can at all help it. But is it? Here's the thing, yeah. though. Here's the here's the thing. Do you? Do, and this is a question I'm posing to everybody yeah. who's like. Potentially, all three might be you. listening. Yeah, all, <laughs> all three of you. Um, would you want a half-assed game where they just like put, you know, put boobs on everything? Put yeah. boobs, thin the waist, make make it a, a women, a woman like looking character, mm-hmm. or do you want them to actually take their time on it? Because that's, I mean, I mean, they would have to half-assed in a character just like to do demands. Mm-hmm. They could do that, but it. I mean, yeah, they could so, just throw it in yeah, there. Yeah, they could it just throw it in. No but like, yeah, it, would you want it to take your time? Or would I guess that's the point I'm making. Yeah, the the question is, do, do you, you want it to half ass just to like have male representation in the game and have it be kind of a shitty representation, or do yeah. you want them to take their time on it? Do you want them to have their representation? Maybe matter? maybe work on that for the next installment. Which, as I hear, they want a Assassin's Creed game out every year, so you don't yeah, have to look great. too far into the future to to, to make put mm. their for your demands on that. Like, and here's my here's my take on it when you get right down to it. Do you want there to be do you want there to be female representation in games just so there's female representation? Or do you want it to be impactful and meaningful? Or do you just want it there just to say that they did it? Because you know that in lieu of making it impactful and meaningful, they'll just be like, whatevs, here's a here's a woman <laughs> character. Right. Hope you, we put a boob window on it. Hope you like it. Hey, Power Girl, whatever. Hey, no. I like Power Girl. <laughs> no, no. Um, <laughs> so I'm She's gonna, also got yeah. big old busters. I'm so. going to take this time to like sw- to segue into into another topic because okay. it was just uh, uh-huh. I was just actually talking about this earlier before you mm-hmm. arrived with a couple people on mine. Uh-huh. Uh, the new Legend of Zelda trailer mm-hmm. looks gorgeous, right? Oh uh, yeah, you're we were rolling your no, eyes. No, 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 no. Continue. I'm just gonna hold this eye roll. <laughs> no, it, it looks gorgeous, still shaded for the Wii U. Mm-hmm. He wants an open-ended environment. Looks great. You know, anything mm-hmm. could happen. I think it's, I think it's cool to just plop Link down and like say, you know, figure it out. I think that's just, <laughs> that is nice. Yeah, yeah I, I've been wanting that for a while, so I'm glad they're putting it in the game. But controversy on Legend of Zelda end was, and this is like a controversy only for like a day, and then like a Numa like said, hey guys, wait a second. But everyone was like, that does not look like Link in, in the trailer. It can't be Link, because it doesn't look like Link. And because he's right-handed. Okay, I guess that... <laughs> I just, I, yeah, like, no, I've, been, I've been busting no, that, that, that was, that was your day. thing, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I've known... I'll explain to you why, yeah. why this pisses but, me off later. But, um, 
Oh. I guess the controversy was that like uh, everyone was like, hey, it actually kind of looks like a chick. So it can't be Link. It's fucking Link looks like a woman. <laughs> but like to me, like this this is me, okay? I watched, I was like, hey, it's a new design for Link, whatever. Apparently I'm the only one who thought that. <laughs> Everyone else was hoping that Link was actually a chick or that um, it was a new character or that it was a girl. And everyone was really disappointed when Enuma came out, you know, today and was like, sorry guys, you know, I never said it was Link, but I never said it wasn't Link as well, you know. Mm. I mean, you have to have, like, a protagonist and it's, you know, Link in the trailer. And everyone was like, oh no, female representation, uh, uh, you know, a video game. To the people I was talking to earlier, which yeah. I was like, well, Link's always been kind of androgynous, you know. To that this extent, is true. I mean, and then they're and like, what? And, and, and everyone was like, "Yeah, so what does that mean?" I was like, "Well, you can be male or female; it doesn't really fucking matter." Yeah, you know, it's supposed to represent the player, and so they made him androgynous to mm-hmm. represent both. Now, now let's, and he has a ponytail in this one too—a little tiny, like tough little ponytail, fucking which rat tail. I could yeah. probably like, like pull my hair back into right now because it's getting yeah. kind of long back. I, I would also say that let's let's look at Link and his representations. The only one where he is. Very much like very obviously male is um, Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess because he, he really grew realistic. up, yeah, yeah, because he uh, grew up into a broad shouldered young man. He could uh, Link could be male or female in any of the other games. I mean, fucking yeah, Link like, to the Past, he has pink hair, yeah, and there was a whole thing with uh, Wind Waker, a dad uh, mm. went in and reprogrammed just only the dialogue. Mm-hmm. To represent uh, female... Yeah, change the pronouns. Female pronouns, yeah. For sh- to he, to she, and yeah. all that jazz. And oh, yeah. So, and, and another thing, uh, going back into Zelda, mm-hmm. the, I, I, I noticed, I, I don't think anyone else has mentioned this, but uh, everyone's mentioned that he has this, like, kind of, his Wind Week Waker-looking outfit on, like, the blue shirt yeah. and pants, and he doesn't have the master sword, he has the bow, mm-hmm. you know. But another thing I noticed was that... The, uh, the cloth his like uh, arms wrapped in looks very similar to the Ocarina of Time Garudu cloth wrap that uh, Ganondorf has. Hmm. And, <laughs> One, and, okay, and 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 his okay. hood kind of looks like it. It could either be like the hood that uh, Zelda wears in Twilight Princess, that kind of look to it, or the cloak Ganondorf wears, to which makes me think. <laughs> and, and, and this, wait, wait for it, wait okay. for it. Way the on. fact that. The, that and the fact that he has a ponytail in the game and that he doesn't look exactly like Link, as many people apparently think, mm-hmm. makes me think there might be some Link customization in this one. Especially since Anuma said he wants to have some sort of multiplayer aspect in the game. To which... Mm-hmm. And, and if you... Like, the player customizing their own Link in their game and having him meet other Links from other games, you'd want some customization with that. Of course, that's just theory speculating, blah, 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 whatever. Wouldn't it blow everybody's <laughs> nuts out of the water if it was actually Ganon that you're playing as? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's that the weird thing, though. Like, up. <laughs> the people in the past two days have said, oh, what if you're playing Zelda or Ganon? I'm just like, guys, I think you're thinking about this way too way hard. Too fucking hard, yeah. <laughs> and even though, even my, like, customization thing, that's a little bit thinking way yeah. too hard, even, but... <laughs> It might just be a really nifty synthesis <laughs> of everything that they've done so far. So. Yeah, which would be cool. Plus, it looks fucking gorgeous. I'm yeah. just, I'm just putting that out there again. <laughs> and so people are like, so oh, well. anime style, regardless. Holy, mm. holy Jesus! You know, it looks gorgeous. But that's the only thing I can really say about the game right now, because yeah, no one knows a dick about anything else in the game. I would just like to say that uh, whenever people say that the Wii U is not a powerhouse or <clears throat> it doesn't match up to the the graphical contents. Like, whenever people say the Wii U isn't all that good, mm-hmm. like, when it, oh, it's just a good successor to, you know, Xbox 360 and shit, and it's just like, fuck off. <laughs> I don't even really I don't even care notice that much. That much. <laughs> I, okay, I have, a, I have a Wii U and I have a PS4. You know what I play more? <laughs> the Wii U. I have a stack of fucking games <laughs> for the PS4. I have barely touched, well... Well, Please. let's be honest. You have a stack of both systems you haven't gotten around to. Well, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, some of us work two jobs. <laughs> yeah. But um, but I point, was... my point being that, you know, I've, play, I, I've put more hours into the Wii U than I have mm. my PS4. Right. Uh, I wanted to take that. I made a little note here. I wanted okay. to 
I wanted to talk about that to segue into the Hyrule Warriors bit. Yep. That is interesting. I I was watching some of the video they're doing, you know, of uh-huh. Zelda playing and Link, and yeah. you can play as Midna in this one, and Impa. Yeah. Um, looks cool. I mean, I don't have really that much else to say about it. Like, yeah, I'm stoked on the villainous with their busters out. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> and, it. <laughs> and, and from Majora's Mask makes a cameo, which I was like, Losing my shit over. I was like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> There's the, they were finding this boss, and they had to go to the Great Fairy from... They took it from the Ocarina of Time looking mm-hmm. one, so she's, like, really scantily clad, busty, and has the, the weird three-ponytail thing going on. She's like, oh, I, I'll, I'll get the boss down for you so you can actually fight it. <sighs> the entire moon <laughs> from Majora's Mask and glorious HD comes down, and... Like the dragon boss smacks him in the nose, <laughs> comes down to earth. I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> You've just horribly fucked up the tides, but thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I like Dynasty Warrior games, so. Yeah, I do too. Of course, I've never owned one because I'm always like, I'll just play the next one. <laughs> but this one, I, I, I actually got really good. This is going to sound awful. I played Dynasty Warriors Gundam 1, 2, and 3. Uh-huh. Oh, they that's made a third one. I thought they only made two. Oh, yeah, no, they made a third one. Oh. All right. <laughs> it's um, it's pretty good, but I got really fed up with it because it's so fucking grindy. And I really hope they scale that shit back for Hyrule Warriors. Mm. I just don't do grinding anymore. That's why I don't play MMOs. That's why I don't yeah. play Minecraft. That's why I don't play Rust or whatever. The fucking yeah, grinding's kind of a, eh, to me too. Like I don't. Yeah, it's just like, oh, you want to unlock these parts to build this other Gundam? Well, fuck you. <laughs> Play this game for another 16 hours and we'll see. And this one, it looks like you open treasure chests to uh, find new items. <laughs> to build characters. Oh, yeah. you, fa- <laughs> you found Midna's arm! Oh, God, <laughs> what is this? I- I'm just really hoping that one of the characters is Darunia from uh, Ocarina of Time, the, like, the Goron leader. Oh, yeah? I just want to. I just want to roll around and like beat the shit out of people. Yeah. Um, oh, you know they always put a fat character in there, so oh, it'll yeah. be in there. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. Uh, okay, what now? Um, well, since we're still talking about fucking Nintendo, let's talk about Smash Brothers, huh? Okay, yeah. Smash you went Brothers. to the uh, the Best Buy thing, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. It's what uh, was that like? It was interesting. Uh, the you could only play two matches. Okay. You know? So, but on the li- there was actually a line to get there, which is really interesting. Shocker. Yeah, my friend Tom and I stood in line, mm-hmm. but they had like ladies going up and down the lines playing a with the 3DS version. Oh, cool. So I played the 3DS version a bit, and I got to try out uh, Smash Run. I got to try out Mega Man with that. Nice. And I also tried out Greninja and Rosalina and Luma mm-hmm. for the Wii U one. So is, is Rosalina really all that big? Like, because I big remember cow. seeing like like just in comparison like to the other characters. Yeah. I guess. I mean, <laughs> I, I I really didn't get a good sense of her scale and like the match I played with her, but. Okay. Because I remember oh. some be- some people are on Twitter like, why is she so fucking big? <laughs> like, because suck my dick, that's why. She is, though, really powerful. I, I didn't expect her to be as powerful as she was. Nice. Of course, I, I didn't really... She's sort of like space goddess or something, anyway. Yeah, no. something like that. Like, yeah, yeah Ros- <laughs> Rosalina, why don't you come down and play cards with us? Okay. <laughs> like, I, I always like to imagine her as like a fucking stoner. I really didn't get a good <laughs> sense of like what her moves could do. But um, she was really powerful. I actually won the match with her nice. in, the, in the match I played with her. Mm-hmm. But like, she has this move where she just like waves her wand around. Uh-huh. And every time I tried to do that move, no one was fucking around me. So <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what the hell that move did. Uh-huh. And I wasn't really sure how to get uh, her Luma companion to like go further mm-hmm. from, from me. I think there was a move to do that. I'm sure there was, but like for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out in the match I played. Right. And... Um, when I played Mega Man, mm-hmm. he was really strange to control. Really? Yeah, because... What's, what's so fucking complicated about this? Go left, go right, jump? <laughs> well, uh, well, okay, here's the thing. Like, the normal, like, A attacks that you have, like, the just the, you know, punch-kick attacks. Yeah. His normal A attacks is his buster gun. Uh-huh. So, that's very strange. And you ever played fucking uh, Marvel vs. Capcom? One of his, his main attacks was his buster shot. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean... No one else on the roster has their like just standard A move be a Buster Gun. It's just like a punch or kick or something. Yeah, it is weird. Which which is very weird to me. And uh, what made it even weirder is like all his like you know A 
attacks, mm -hmm. like directional attacks to smash attacks, I guess, were also moves from uh, characters. Oh, okay. Like his the slash the slash uh, man attack is the over A. Mm -hmm. His uh, the A up is just like <laughs> his, 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 his the A up is like his uh -huh. is an air man attack, but he just does like a tornado move, which is oh. very like strange. Mm -hmm. But like his his special it's just like a special attack. So it's mm -hmm. like I have no clue what's going on, uh -huh. and uh, that that was very weird to control. Smash run was kind uh -huh. of. As a, as a mug was interesting, mm -hmm. I didn't really get a sense, obviously, of, like, how that, like, made your character better or worse. Mm -hmm. Since I was just like, okay, let's do this. I have no clue what's going on. This world is weird. Ah! <laughs> Help! <laughs> yeah. But uh, Greninja was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a very powerful downward A attack. He just, like, claps his hands together. Just, mm -hmm. like, <laughs> pencil next it, like, down to the ground Damn. as fast as he can. <laughs> I nice. canceled out a Pikachu's thunder storm attack. Oh, cool! Which I was like, "Yeah, hey, that's awesome!" <laughs> um, Pikachu. Yeah, the game the game controlled really nicely. It was like it was mm -hmm. it was like almost like melee, but with well, the, I can't play it on a Wii on a, on a Wii U <laughs> controller anymore. I had to play it on a GameCube controller. Yeah, I whatever. fucking hate people who are like, oh, I can't play uh, Smash Brothers unless I have a Wii all, controller. All, like, all the controllers they had were like Wii, Wii U Pro controllers and it played ah. fine. So, See? I mean, Bitch. Yeah, I, I, I don't really understand that. <laughs> Go buy a Pro controller like a real man. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I controlled really nicely. Uh, and I'm really, really, really fucking excited for Pac-Man! <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I was just like, yes, Pac-Man's in it! Woo! <laughs> Sonic makes his return. Oh boy. Does he have a Sonic Boom costume in there, or is this a regular co Sonic? I, I don't know. I really hope they put the Sonic Boom one in there, because it'd be a wait. It'd be a real waste not for the, for them to not put that in there, mm. considering that Sonic Boom is only coming out on fucking Wii. <laughs> yeah, maybe one of his costumes is just like a scarf and like this bandage hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the, one of the guy, one of the kids we played with uh, there played as Little Mac for both matches. Nice, and he's really powerful. Um, he was pretty much just spamming one move the entire time because he was played by a little kid <laughs> and that move is almost overpowered really overpowered and cheap just fucking as, OP just as like I you Fox on uh, fucking Final Destination no items <laughs> every single time but yeah <laughs> I, I almost I almost like yelled at the kid and I was like okay I'm in a public area I, I need to not I like, need to fuck not you kid you. fuck you <laughs> like, oh, right, calm right, the right. calm the shit down <laughs> All right, I, I'm around real, actual human beings. I need to <laughs> not lose my shit on somebody. Yeah, but it was kind of cool. They had buttons and uh, stickers there. I got a couple there. They had, they had a button that was just the Smash logo, but apparently mm -hmm. I didn't have any more of those, so I had to oh. get just the other one, which I'm still pretty stoked with. But yeah. All right, so we talked about Smash. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Splatoon a little bit. Yeah, huh? that's uh, I think has been my favorite game shown in D3. So, talk to me. Because I'm really surprised no one else is like holy shitting about this game except for, for no, me. No, really. there are but other like, people who, on Tumblr at least who are so, like, oh my so. For those of you who <laughs> haven't heard anything about it, it's, it's Nintendo's take on an arena. Uh, it's a MOBA. Yeah, it's, it's an arena first person shooter. Yeah. Uh, you have two teams of four, I guess, and you go around and you just have like different colored ink and you splat around and you have to. Try to get the arena to look mostly like your team's colored ink. Yeah. And the most space you get, the more you win, I guess. But the twist, if that's not a twist enough, the twist is that your characters are like half squid. You can actually swim in your own ink. Which... God, this sounds awful masturbatory. <laughs> Carry on. Which, which I think is really cool, because that opens up a lot of like really unique gameplay options. Like you can just hide in the ink, you can splatter one ink spot in your enemy's thing and jump into it and just hide there and, you know, mm -hmm. take out shit. Uh, what did you think about this? I mean, I just looked at it and I was just like, you know what? Cool. It's quirky. It's weird. It's going to be all over the place. It's going to be good when it comes out. It, yeah. Because it's so... And again, that's Nintendo needs to keep doing. It needs to keep putting out stuff that like is that, high quality, yeah. that it's off the beaten path, and, like, it needs to keep putting out games of the caliber of Mario Kart 8 and of the caliber of Super 3D World. Mm -hmm. 
And it just needs to keep doing that. It just, it, it can't, here's the thing, it can't stop and be <laughs> like, oh, yeah, no, we have this shittier version of all these uh, AAA games that came out on other systems. It can't afford to do that. Mm-hmm. Nobody buys those games. I right. remember GameStop, trust me, nobody buys those fucking games. It needs to keep putting out stuff, like, on the caliber of Mario Kart 8 and the, you know, I don't know, they've got, like, Sonic and... Sonic and shit now. Yeah, but they yeah. need to keep putting out games like that because it's going to keep them afloat. They need to put out a new Metroid. They need to put out a new Star Fox. Uh, Donkey Kong, the new Donkey Kong was great. The new Kirby was great. They need those big name titles out there. And they need to start putting out new IPs, but they need to have, make sure that they're produced by Nintendo. Yeah, and, and I the, think Splatoon's a really interesting yeah. uh, thing about that because it also is like shows that they're trying to cater to the hardcore because it is yeah it, it is at its core a first person like multiplayer online game right shoot, shooting game just just because it's like ink instead of like fucking bullets doesn't make a difference it's still first person i yeah. guess it isn't a first person shooter but it's, still, a, it's, 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 it's an arena shooter it's a but, shooter yeah like and, and i think that's really uh interesting and i think that shows like nintendo's pushing to, towards that yeah. market a little yeah, bit more at least. It's a shame that it took this, long, <laughs> this damn long. But this could, yeah, be, yeah. This could conceivably be a really good thing for Nintendo that they're just like, all right, let's branch out a little bit. It, re- it reminds me of a GoldenEye on the sixty four. Yeah. Like that was the the must own mm. game, first person yeah. shooting. It is a real damn shame. You know, perfect multiplayer game to and Xbox. Yeah, it sucked so bad. <laughs> Speak, speaking Nothing of that real, game made any fucking sense to me. Really, really quickly, there's this a uh, book that's. <laughs> That's being sold at uh, uh-huh. uh, Martin's. I had to do a double take yesterday because I could only see the top of the book, uh-huh. and it looks like they copy and pasted the Joanna Dark yeah. from Perfect Dark Zero uh-huh. into the top part of the thing. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's what they did. Anyway, go, going back to yeah. uh, Splatoon and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, so um, but yeah. Also, really quickly about Splatoon, oh, yeah. I've been watching uh, matches on the Nintendo Treehouse live events. Mm. And Watch them if you haven't, by the way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's very chaotic. It looks very fun and unique. I can't wait but, for people to start talking about how we're Nintendo fanboys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I sorry. hate Zelda, by the way. <laughs> no, but um, what's interesting is that all the matches have been three minutes long. Yeah. I'm sure this will change in the full version, but I'm hoping mm-hmm. like matches will be more than three minutes long and you can well, change that up. Maybe. I mean, I if, it, if, if it's the, more than three minutes, think yeah. about how the more strategy you'd have to put into that, dude. Yeah, the thing about it, you also have to consider pacing. Yeah. You can do a lot in three minutes. Plus, like, I can do they, a lot in they, three did, minutes. they did show that other weapons are kind of. Make the masturbation motion. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I mean, they did, did show that other weapons will be mm-hmm. shown, like, in the trailer. So. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. Th- I, I just, I'm just curious to see what they'll do with it, I guess. Mm-hmm. But anyway, yeah. onward. Onward to our next thing. Um, let's talk about uh, No Man's Sky, I guess, really quickly. Yeah, go for it, man. Because we don't know that much about it, but I'm really interested in it. It's coming out for PC mm-hmm. and PS4, and it's basically procedurally generated space. Oh, this is Galaxy. What? Oh, I forgot that they changed. I was wondering why people were talking about this game called that I read about in Game Informer a couple months ago called Galaxy. Oh. Is that what the? It, that's what it. The, yeah, oh, okay. this is what so, it is now. I'm oh, like, why is he wearing the Galaxy? Cos- why is Anthony Carboni? Shout out to Anthony Carboni wearing the uh, Galaxy costume and talking about No Man's Sky. Yeah, yeah, that's what it used to be. Okay, called. okay. Uh, but yeah, now it's a basically a, a rogue light. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but it looks really cool and it's just like procedure. It's like Minecraft only. Fucking space exploration, which makes me super which isn't hyped. anything like Minecraft, but <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's I mean a that's space procedurally shooting. generated yeah. bricks. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it, I think on a, a better scale to call what it is, it, like, rogue light is what it is. Okay. It's more like uh, more like Binding of Isaac or hmm. um, well, not some of that other shit that comes out. But yeah, it's <laughs> like you take a spaceship, you can just go to a yep. planet and a, you know explore it mm. and discover it if you want. Yeah, fight pirates. Yeah. Mind materials, sell it to people if you want. And it's all anime yeah, styled, it's, and it's gonna be bitchy. Well, I wouldn't say anime; it's just like weird cell shaded. That's pretty anime it's, style. It's kind of it reminds me of more of the style of like Killer Seven. I see. I would still just call that anime style, especially or considering whatever. when I read the read the article, they started making mention of stuff like uh, Space Battleship Yamato hmm. and Speed Racer and those class space exploration shows like Robotech and stuff like okay, that. Okay, yeah. So, 
Like yeah, that's... what happened to that Robotech game that was supposed to come out, guys? <laughs> no, okay. But yeah, no, like we don't know that much information about it. Mm. It still doesn't have a release date. There's plenty. Well, I mean, there's an article on it in Game Informer. Why do I keep shilling for Game Informer? I don't know. Um, well, because it's where I read shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you know, I work at GameStop. Yeah, GameStop kind of sells it. So. Yeah, but yeah, no. There's a big long article on uh, No Man's Sky. About and it's interesting to watch how that game has evolved and changed too, but uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty hype. Yeah, and I saw I saw a video for this like way back before mm-hmm. E three even, and it was still called No Man's Sky like a couple months ago. I yeah, think. yeah. So like, like I, I saw it back then, but I was just like, oh, I can't wait to hear more about this game, and I'll definitely pick it up at on something. I don't even fucking care what. I'll definitely try to pick this yeah. up. So uh, if nothing else, I'll pick it up on PS four, and you can come over and play it. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is my make make me. Get a PS4, who knows? Although, if it's coming out on PC, I'll just fucking play it on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, Alright, so what's S- S- SVDA? Or a Suda game. Oh, yeah, no. Well, this, I guess the other stuff we'll just quickly mention and talk about. Uh, there's not much information. Yeah, the new stuff. Suda game that's going to come out and disappoint everybody. <laughs> uh, that yeah. man is going through the motions of game making at this point, and that's sad. I mean, I, I didn't really look that It's not scene. really that great of a game. It reminded me of Manhunt. Or Mad World. Mad World, yeah. Yeah, one of those two games that reminded mm-hmm. me of those games. Right. But here's the thing about Suda 51, and I've actually told my friend Tom about this. Um, yeah, we should get him since, on the show. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, uh-huh. Ever since, like, he he started out with, like, you know, Killer7 mm-hmm. and Flower Rain Sun, I think it's called. Yeah. The PS2 game, it also came on DS mm-hmm. in Japan. Ever since those two games, those were really... Really artsy games. I love those because they were yeah. really artsy, quirky, conce- and rude games. Yeah, so. conceptual in mm-hmm. context. After those two games, though, I feel like he's just being weird just to be weird, and there's nothing like yeah, artsy he's very behind it. Homo. And, and well, I'm and I'm not liking that. It's like, mm. and this is just another game that's like, okay, I liked it when he was more artsy and more conceptual and weird, mm. and that went to a, like a conceptual idea. He's not doing that anymore. And I, no, because he's got a rep now, and he's trying to maintain his rep, but it's yeah, not just working. Trying you played to Over be, Heroes? Because I, it's funny. I did I played. Okay. I did play the one he did with uh, the Resident Evil guy, where he, uh, it's the Mexican guy, and he goes Oh, Shadows to of the Damned, yeah. Yeah, Shadows of the Damned. That was actually a pretty good game. Yeah, but uh, I mean, it was also just, to me, weird for being weird, like the goat's head, and... Yeah, well, I mean, there to, was... To show up in the there talking was, bike, and like, this is just weird, it's not artsy or anything... Conceptual at all. It's just being weird. Yeah. No more. No more heroes is really good if you are into the idea of him just making shit to make fun of other video yeah. games. Even that had like a, like an idea behind it that it was like. I mean, here's here's the other half of that though. If you're gonna make fun of other video games for doing shit things like having nine impossible bosses, like don't put shit things in your don't game. Don't put right? that in the game <laughs> too. Yeah. Basically. Um, but yeah, the best part of Suda 51 games is seeing how artistic they're going to be and how weird they are, yeah. and then playing them and finding out that they suck. Yeah, but that cough, cough, lollipop, chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, that's another game. But like, I feel like Fucking he's garbage. kind of lost his way. For yeah, a that man time. needs to. I mean, man, like, that man needs to either take a vacation or fucking retire. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about Skillbound just really briefly. <sighs> Beats by Dre the game. Yeah, that's. I made that comment on like the game trailers forums, and mm-hmm. like no one, everyone was like, "Hey, look, it's Devil May Cry I meets mean, you know some other random fantasy game." Yeah, I mean, like I'm all for <laughs> like playing, you know, playing as a guy who can turn into a fucking dragon because that's cool. Oh, he doesn't turn, or, <laughs> or, doesn't, or he gets he, like scale. He, he like, gets like summon something. Or, like, he gets like dragon powers and some shit. I don't. Yeah. I only watched a little bit of the trailer. So I wasn't quite sure what the hell was going on. Yeah, the but trailer, you know, the I'm interested. Like really weird, yeah. I'm just—it's enough to get me pique my interest. So that should be cool. Yeah. Then we have Bloodborne, which I guess used to be called a uh, uh, fuck Project Beast. Okay. Or whatever. But is it is it another is it a new Altered Beast game? No, no. But I don't care. No, I guess, I guess it's supposed to just be like the spiritual successor to Demon Souls or whatever. We have two of those already. Yeah. But They're here's cool. the thing. I didn't understand what the fuck was going on in that trailer. Yeah. Like, it was Victorian England, I uh, guess, and there were zombies, and then he goes into a tomb, and there's a Are dragon. you sure you're not mistaking that for, mistaking Bloodborne for Order 1888? I... 
wish I fucking was, dude. <laughs> well, it's Victorian England and this shit happens. Like, okay. I really wish I was just because I watched this. I was like, I, I was like, okay, this, because that's what I thought. I was like, this must be like a new trailer for The Order and I just, they just yeah. changed the entire story of the game. Oh, wait, nope. It's nope, nope, this is a different Blood game altogether. Bloodborne, okay. That's so between Bloodborne, Order 1888, or 1886, I think it's 1886, I think I've been saying The Order time. number afterwards. The, the Order, 18, like, late 18th century. The Order Steampunk. <laughs> yeah, and, and the game Project Steam. <laughs> yeah. Not too many projects going around now. But, like... We'll talk about that in a second, You want to right talk to me about a dead genre? Let's talk Steampunk as a dead genre. <laughs> Because it is played to death, and once you have three video games coming out in the same year, of roughly the uh, same idea... Uh, I don't think Project Steam's the same idea, dude. This just... I'll I'll talk about that in a second. Late Victorian... Like, Victorian fantasy, though, is what... When I say steampunk, (laughs) it's like... (laughs) That's kind of what I'm getting at. Like, some people are like Victorian sci-fi. It's it's like, that includes fantasy. I actually actually missed if they showed anything in order... Oh, they did. It's just like more stuff. Okay. Like it, that game just looks cool. It's probably going to be. Uh, I mean, to kind me, of blase like, third person shooter. The, the but first I don't gameplay care. <laughs> the stuff they showed like a while back kind of looked like mm. uh, same gameplay as Uncharted a little bit. Yeah. So I was just like, okay. Well, if you got a copy, you may as well copy for the best. I mean, that's cool. Um, really quick, yeah. Let me talk about a uh, Project Steam. Yeah. For the 3DS. Mm-hmm. I was watching. Good hype. Yeah, no, I was watching a bit about this uh, today. Do you know the plot of it? Because um, I heard the plot of it. I was just like, what? The plot is that you're fending off zombies and monsters with Abe Lincoln as your commanding officer. Aliens, but yes. Aliens, okay. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I I heard that and I was just like, Fuck, I'm what in, the I'm in it hell it. is going on with this? I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. I'm going to get that fucking game. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's uh, inspired by steampunk, obviously, and... Weirdly enough, American comic books. That doesn't shock me. Specifically, the character designs of Bruce Tim and Mike Mignola. Mignola. Oh, is that how you say it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, it showed... They were playing a little bit of it, and it's like a... Uh, yeah, I guess a turn-based RPG, but, like... Yeah. It's it almost it's has... like Valkyria Chronicles. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm down with that, I guess. For the two of you who played Valkyria Chronicles, <laughs> it's like I mean, that. I mean, I don't own a 3DS, but if I did, I'd probably pick yeah, up the I'm game Yeah, I'm probably going to pick point. it up myself, because I have one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking of one of the... <laughs> there's this kid that uh, was at the Smash, Smash Fest. Stop it! <laughs> I don't want your stinky feet in my face. <laughs> I keep putting my foot up on, on Jeff's armrest. <laughs> I was about to say, people are going to think we're in bed together. You're just like fondling your feet Feel in my face. With it. <laughs> no, there, there's this, there's this kid at a the Smash Fest who's like, who's who's not going to get the 3DS and Wii U versions of Smash Brothers? I just like raised my hands like I'm not. I don't own 3DS. I probably wouldn't own one. <laughs> but no, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it looks like a really cool game. Definitely one to look out for for those of you who own a 3DS. Mm-hmm. And a couple games I'll just talk about really quickly. Uh, Fable Legends. First thing I thought was, like, this does not look like a Fable game. So yeah, I, First thing I thought was, oh, goody, another Fable game that we're going to get back in, like, three months. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be driven down in price almost comically. The hilarious part about this is, like, the first Fable was so ambitious they cut almost everything out of it, right? Yep. They could do what they wanted to in the first Fable now, but they're like, yeah, no, fuck that. We're just going to go completely the opposite direction with it. Yeah. <laughs> Fable for me. Here's my problem. I don't like Peter Molyneux. I think that he, whenever he talks about his old games, he's always apologizing. What? Don't slag off your own stuff. I mean, you can you can not like it if you don't want to. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, people will put hours upon hours on it, and then you're just coming up like, "Oh, I'm sorry, we made this <laughs> shit game. Oh, God, it's so bad." Well, oh, but this next one will like, be bad. Really cool, unique ideas. They could put into games, and but they, ass execution. Yeah, ass execution. There's this actually. Uh, that's a, that's a fatality in the next <laughs> combat, by the way. Yeah, ass execution. execution. No, there's this uh, one tech demo that he mm. showed off at one of the a, a game developer del- game Probably developers geez. conference one year. Yeah, which was really awesome. Okay, I think it was called House or Home or something. Uh huh. 
several really interesting ideas and mm. You, we could probably you know find a video of it and I could show you what it's about yeah. because it looks it's really awesome. I was like, holy fuck! And I still haven't seen any games do this, by mm-hmm. the way, in this, in like what it does in this tech demo. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's just a tech demo. Yeah, they're not ever going to make a game <laughs> of it. <you> know? <laughs> of course not. And I was like, that's sad. But Fable in Fable Legends, apparently, you have one guy who's like almost like a dungeon master making dungeons and yeah, other heroes coming in to. Mm-hmm. Do the dungeons. To, to fight yeah. the dungeons, yeah. And I don't like that because, like, Fable's always been about, like, you can be the good guy good guy or bad guy, and it's like you're kind of taking that option away from people. Yeah. Which I'm just like, that's kind of shitty, and, yeah. And you wanted to talk about Mortal Kombat? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that I knew about Mortal Kombat before any of you all motherfuckers did. Um, oh, we special. Well, yeah, because I, <laughs> I work at a GameStop when we got posters in. <laughs> Like, oh, Mortal Kombat X. And I'm like, oh, really? Interesting. My boss is like, you're not allowed to tell anybody about this. These don't <laughs> exist. I'm like, can I have one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, shout outs there that I got to post. I still have a photo. Yeah. Up, but we're throwing them out as pre order bonuses now. So, uh, but yeah, hey, uh, big shout out to my boy T Bone at uh, Never Realm Studios. Uh, fucking make that game, yo. I'm stoked. Woo! I'm hype. <laughs> Speaking of a uh, game series who can't get beyond Thunderdome, that new Fuck character. You. <laughs> Fuck you. That, that, that new, th- that, the that new Mad Max game? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, the new character in Mortal Kombat. Oh, which one? It's just a humongous guy with a little tiny Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, Lord, it's uh, yeah. Master Blaster. Yeah, it's Master Blaster, <laughs> just from fucking Thunderdome. I, wanted like... to put, I want them to put uh, the Lord Humongous in that game, too. <laughs> just walk away. Just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but yeah, and then uh, the new Tomb Raider, only a teaser trailer. I'm, I mean, I'm interested. Like Rise of the Tomb Raider, like I really like the oh, sh- oh, sh- oh, 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 sh- whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like I liked, uh, I liked the Tomb Raider game that came out a couple years ago. It was really yeah. good. And I mean, I, didn't, I heard it was really awesome. I didn't get a chance to play it actually. Yeah, because like, it didn't come out on the Wii. Well, no, no, I actually was going to pick it up, but didn't have enough money. money to yeah, get it, but. But one thing I, I I'm ask people about is like there weren't so. that many tombs to raid in that one. There and were plenty of tombs to raid. <laughs> there were but bunches the of focus tombs on to this raid. Is going to be tomb raiding, you know, not just surviving an island. Okay, which is kind of interesting. Fine, it's just like that. That's one of those arguments where it's just like, like, it's like, oh, I don't want to watch Star Blazers because they don't blaze enough stars. This is like. Fuck off! <laughs> I mean, that's the crux of the whole the, that whole series, though. Is like she raided. She's tombs. an archaeologist. Yeah, yeah. and there wasn't. No, she's Indiana Jones with boobs. Yeah. That's the point. Well, of the but show. I mean, that's apparently there wasn't enough of that in in the game. There's right? plenty of it. You went into tombs all the time. You just had to dig for them. That's just the argument I've heard. I obviously haven't played the game. <laughs> Fuck everybody who's just like, well, she didn't run enough tubes. Yeah. Go suck a thousand cocks. Last game I kind of wanted to talk about was Ori. Ori? And the, the, I think it was the Mysterious Light or the... Oh, I'm more I'm more, I'm more concerned with uh, Nori, the uh, the not-so-mysterious light, and the rest of his dwarven companions. <laughs> okay. Wow! Throwing <laughs> a really obs- not obscure, I guess, but Ori and Nori from The Hobbit. Uh, <laughs> I was not even Dory, like thinking Nori that. Nori yeah. and Dory. Biffer, the fat Biffer, one. <laughs> no. Biffer, Biffer, <laughs> and Bombor. <laughs> yeah, that's another one of those like kind of unique side-scrolling artsy games coming out, uh, similar to uh, Child of Light, and which is already out in the <sighs> Valiant Hearts. Oh yeah, Valiant was, Hearts. I'm excited for. But yeah, it's like Child of Light can suck a thousand dicks. Have you played it yet? Yep. Oh, not pleased. No. 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 <laughs> Too it's, bad. It's like it's it's one of those games that gets really wrapped up in its own symbolism, mm. and like the art style is great. It just does not have enough. It doesn't have enough get oomph to it to propel it for as long as the game goes. Right, right. That need a game needed to be about three hours shorter. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, for what when it's good, it's good. But when it's bad, it's yeah. just. Plus, obnoxious. it is just a downloadable title, so I mean. Well, yeah, but yeah. why are we say why do we say that it's okay for a game to suck if it's downloadable? Well, I'm not saying that, but... <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just talking to the, yeah. the greater gamer community. Okay, here, but. yeah. Man, Ori... Yeah. I, I didn't even know, like, what the bigger story of Ori is, but it looks mm-hmm. like an interesting game, just art-wise. So. Yeah. 
All right. Well, I think we've reached the end of the list, and we've yeah. been going for an hour and ten minutes. So, <laughs> any any last comments or um, kaboopals? Just wait for the goddamn games to come out. <laughs> yeah, banjo kazoopals. Banjo kazoopals. And I'm sure, like, a, I'm actually almost positive, like, two more months, Nintendo's going to put out another like Nintendo Direct to oh, I'm positive. Talk more about whatever the fuck they're going to talk about. Seven or eight more games. They just. Here's the thing. They need to start acquiring studios what, that are really, struggling. Really quickly. Yeah. About Nintendo, one thing I forgot to mention about the conference that I was not impressed with. Oh, yeah. No mention of anything virtual console-wise. Yeah. And I was, I was like, I just, like, nothing about the DS games that are going to come out for it. Mm-hmm. Not, none of the, you know, what other new games are coming down the pipeline for the virtual console. I'm still wanting them to put out N64 games. Maybe That'd even possibly nice. Genesis games and Turbo Graphics since it was on the fucking Wii. And it's on the 3DS too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, get on and that, you, Nintendo. <laughs> that'd be nice. Um, <laughs> fan, fan suggestion here. <laughs> yeah. Here's what I would like. This is just a pipe dream for me for well, Nintendo. Yeah, and look, while yeah. we're doing it, let's do Microsoft and Sony as well just to end this out. Oh, no. But, the Microsoft and Sony can go suck a thousand dicks because they they've got their own thing. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, just their, saying, what, what I'm just I saying see, what you want from those companies, too. What, what I want from Nintendo is them to start scooping up talent. I was going to you were going to say shit. Go on, go no, on. No, <laughs> no, start scooping up shit. Uh, the side of the road now. Yeah, um, I want them to start scooping up talent from places that are, like, from places that are getting shuttered by AAA developers because their games cost too damn much. And I think we're starting to see that. Yeah, and I want them, but I want them to make a hard drive for that. Mm-hmm. So they're like, hey, you're you're developing for Nintendo. These are not third-party titles. These are first-party titles put out by places like Rare used to be. Mm-hmm. And, you know, places that have proven that they're good, but they don't have the, the budget. Yeah, like Sonic Team. Ha <laughs> ha Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, no, and what about Microsoft? What do you think about Microsoft? Cause I think Microsoft needs to, like, just take a minute and step back and be like, <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing. Um, yeah. Because they're killing the console market by themselves. Uh, and I'm I actually very surprised, just, like, taking a back seat on the indie game yeah. thing, which they were strived a lot for in... Mm. In the yeah. past generation, and this well, I mean, I think what they realized with the Microsoft Xbox Live indie market is that fucking nobody plays half those games. Well, let's also be honest too; they kind of yeah. screw themselves over, firstly with their whole, you know, RDM, but then taking it back, and everyone's just like, "Oh, we're playing yeah. catch up now." But yeah, and for Sony, I don't really have that much to say about Sony, actually. <laughs> I, yeah, I usually, so Sony keeps doing just decent. I mean, it, they don't. I usually hate on the company, not not because I'm a yeah. Sony hater, just because I don't usually think they're making. You know, I usually just don't yeah. like their the business decisions they make. But right now, I'm just like, they're not doing so bad. They're kind of just, you know, hey, this is what we're doing. Yeah, not what <laughs> well, you like. Doing but doing stuff, doing stuff with things. I still don't like the fact that they take pot shots out of the company sometimes. Yeah, but, that's, but I mean, that's just, they kind of. I, I, that's that's the thing though. I they kind of always have that kind of arrogance air about them. Yeah, because you kind of have to. But uh, yeah. Anyway, aside from stopping throwing shade at other companies, oh yeah, hey, GTA Five is going to come out on the PS4. Don't fucking give a yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't either. I played that <laughs> game already. Um, <laughs> I played it on PS3 and I was quite satisfied with it. I didn't need it to come out on the four. Right. Yeah. But you will have you have no idea how many people are like, when's GTA Five coming out for the new gen? So it's like. When fuck you, that's why. Don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> why don't you want new games? Well, no, I want these old games because I fear change and I don't want to lose money on something that might not be a good prospect. It's like eat a dick. Anyway, yeah. so that's that for us. So uh, we might we... be doing this tomorrow. We may not. Either. Yeah, depends. Fuck knows. <laughs> yeah, depending on how bored we get or how much news happens that week. I yeah. guess that we can yeah. bitch about. Because we'll it doesn't always happens. have to be about just games, but yeah, we'll we'll bitch about dumb stuff. Who knows? <laughs> all right, yeah. all right. So later, guys. Uh, I guess until next time, the challenge goes on or cast on. I don't fucking know. Whatever. <laughs> later. <laughs>